Do you know why Tupac didn't have a funeral? Yeah, he, he, I just, he would never want a funeral, not a casket. And they did do something for him on the beach. Um, I remember Psych had invited me, but I still was like, I went, I, I, you know, I just, I, I didn't think I could deal with it. Like they, um, years, a couple years later, they, um, they may have smoked some of his ashes and they scattered some on the beach. But um, he was, I, he would not have wanted people to stand over his casket and look at him. He did not want that. And I've heard him express that to me. So I know that for fact. They did have like a little service at uh, Jasmine Guy's house, but then they shattered his, uh, scattered his ashes years later. Right, right. Was you there when they had the service at Jasmine Guy's house? I was outside. I didn't want to go inside. Why? I was not in a very healthy place at that moment. Like I couldn't, I, I didn't bathe for like two days, maybe three days. I, I didn't eat. I didn't even speak probably for like two days. I just, I think the first time I spoke was actually when Jasmine Guy came to his um, apartment in Wilshire and she bought food. And I asked her, I asked her if she, if, where was, if she had liquor or where's the liquor at? Like, all, I was probably, I was on a liquid diet for a few days. I was just distraught. I was distraught. I thought I'd have more time. I thought I would see my friend again. I thought, you know, we would reconcile and probably fight again. But, you know, I, um, you know, and that was a lot to deal with. That was uh, my like first true love. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do nothing. What was Tupac and Jasmine Guy relationship like? Did he ever speak to you about his relationship with Jasmine Guy? When he passed away, I don't know what their relationship was at the time, but they did date before, um, and. I would say she was somebody important in his life as well, that he trusted and that he, he liked her. You know, he told me that. He told me when he, they um, started talking and whatever, I, you know, I, you know, like I said, if I would hear something, I would ask him and he would tell me the truth. So it wasn't like we were just laying there like, yo, you know, I fucked it. No, it'd be like, oh, I heard or we'd you know be talking about a certain situation and you know things would come up so i was like i heard you know you and the old girl and he was like yeah you know he was like she's cool he likes her she's fun you know i was like oh okay cool when he got out the hospital he went to her house and stayed there with her and knowing him you know he ain't gonna just go to just anywhere or with anybody you know he's gonna go with somebody that he trusts and you know, which is crazy, but in his life, a lot of women that loved him would go all out for him. You know, sometimes it's women that'll hold you down more than a man will.